I've travelled to Erith today and I'm at RK International Machine Tools. I've come here to look at the range of Europa machines. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. Simon, the Europa milling machines, there's quite a few variants of models within the range. On the Europa milling machines there is, yeah. It starts with the Europa Miltech 1000 VS, which features the popular R8 milling spindle. Uh, it's a nice compact machine with reduced travels, very popular with educational customers, and the reduced uh, height of the machine allows students to safely reach the drawbar. Right, so that's the 1000, that's the smallest, and then you've got to the 2000. Is there much difference with that machine? The 2000 is what you'd expect to see in your typical tall tool room environment, uh, dovetail ways, R8 spindle, power on the longitudinal feed. And then from there we got to the 5000, I believe. Yeah, the 5000, that's where we go with an ISO 40 spindle. Um, we have longitudinal and power on the cross, um, along with power rise and fall to the knee. So why did you go with the 40 on that machine? Just to meet customers' demands for cutting heavier materials and more, more efficiently. So it is a, it's a more rigid machine, it's obviously slightly bigger as well. Then as we go up to the next machine I can see here is the 6BVS. Yeah, the 6BVS sits in the middle of our BVS range. We do a 4BVS, 6 and an 8BVS. These are heavier duty machines where the cutting head will go up and down on the column, uh, leaving the table just to go left and right and longitudinal and cross. So you're kind of then stepping up to the next level of rigidity for heavier machining exactly, as well. Exactly. You're, you're getting up to a thousand kilos that you can put on the table on those machines. I noticed you've got the 2000 VS there with the Heidenhain control. That's full CNC. It is. We also do the 2000 and the 5000 with the Heidenhain TNC 320 control. Uh, it's a machine that we actually retrofit ourselves here in the UK. Uh, we buy the Fagel drives from Daventry. The Heidenheim controls purchased from Burgess Hill and along with our engineers and their engineers, the machines assembled here at RK. I bet that's pretty popular because you've got a manual machine which you can then adapt to or, or use as a full CNC. Exactly, you know, and Heidenheim is still a very popular control out in the marketplace. You've got the ability to take a program out of a 20 year old control machine with a TNC 151, import it into the 320 control, use it as a program and then export it to a, a VMC with a Heidenheim 530 control. So even though CNC is a big seller in, in the global market, is there still a big market for you here with this type of machine? Exactly, and we've got a number of machines that we actually also uh, recently installed CNC controls on the RAM type machines as well. Okay, really good insight. Thanks, Simon. Thank you very much, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.